So I remember conversation after conversation me and Ryan would have. We used to live two doors down from each other. We're extremely busy doing a lot of different things. And I'm like, where do we go to meet people like us? Like people that are listening to podcasts, people that are reading books, people that are you know, starting businesses, people that are you know, trying to become the best version of themselves and are like actively pursuing that. And looking, looking, I uh, know, not there, not there, not there. Finally, we're like, screw it, let's just create it. But what we wanted to do here was create an environment where people could be real, where people could be authentic and transparent and have real conversations, where you don't have to you know, be like, hey man, how was your day? Oh, it was awesome. Well, what if it sucked? Like you would've probably said it was awesome if we were at some random networking event. But to be able to say, man, today sucked because this happened, this happened. And to be able to have a real conversation, well, you know, tell me about that. You know, do you mind if I give you some feedback on that? Like, having real conversations about the things that every single person in here is going through something right now. I, I love this real, recognize real. Like people wanna connect with real people. And I think the only way to do that is by being vulnerable and by being transparent. And I think if people realize how much strength there is in sharing the good, bad, and the ugly, that they would realize like that's the only way you can build strong relationships. And at the end of the day, like relationships are all that matter. I'm a big Brene Brown fan. And so vulnerability is a huge part of my life because it's, it's so funny with Daring Greatly, her book where she talks about, you know, how many of you see vulnerability as a form of weakness? And everyone raised their hand. They said, well, if somebody came up on stage here and was vulnerable, how many of you would say that that person was courageous? And everyone raised their hand. Like it's, it's one of those interesting dynamics. We all have stories. We all have struggles. We all have pain. We're just too freaking terrified to talk about it in public. And we're too freaking terrified to open up and tell you like, man, I'm struggling in this one area because I think you're gonna think less of me. There's this analogy, uh, my business partner um, was telling me the story. He said he was uh, talking about this situation where he just blew up on this guy and he just was yelling at him and everybody was kind of like laughing at the scenario because it was kind of funny how he blew up on him. And there was this one super, super wealthy guy in the corner and he wasn't laughing. And my business partner, Joseph said, you know, why aren't you laughing? Like, it's funny. It's funny what I said to that guy when I blew up. He's like, it's not funny. And he said he took this glass and the glass was full of water. And he said he started shaking the glass like this. Water started like getting out a little bit on the table and he started shaking a little more and started flying everywhere. And he said, why did water come out of that glass? He's like, obviously because you shook it. He's like, no, wrong. Water came out of that glass because water was in it. You blew up on that guy and you were angry with that guy because you had anger inside of you. And so it's this reality that as we bottle these emotions up and they do turn into anger, that it's going to come out eventually on somebody, a girlfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, a kid. Um, and the, the more that we can do to make that happen less, <laughs> to make those outbursts, to make those situations happen less, the, the better. And the only way I know to do that is by dealing with those emotions when they come. And to have someone that will like create that space for you to have that conversation to where it's meaningful and to where you can genuinely like sense that the other person cares. And if that conversation didn't happen tonight, you just talked to the wrong people. But those people are here. Like they are 100% here. And it takes us, you know, from up here being transparent ourselves. And a lot of these Q and A's, like we've talked a lot about our stories. And it creates that first you being vulnerable to somebody else, like, like, hey man, let me tell you about this thing I'm going through. To then them who is going through something very similar or going through something equally as difficult to have the audacity to be like, man, I'm going through something too, can I tell you about that? And all of a sudden it goes deeper and you have a real conversation and then you leave at the end of the night and you're like, man, that was awesome. <laughs>